My Silver Lining, Childhood Dilemma. I wanted to be an archeologist for as long as I can remember. I would spend my young years running down the dried up bed of the Danube River on the border between communist Bulgaria and Romania, digging in the dirt all afternoon in hopes of finding something interesting. My mom read to us the Iliad and the Odyssey every night at bedtime which filled me with curiosity about the world's ancient history. Early on, I started asking myself questions about where we come from and why we are here on this earth. I was a sweet, naive, introverted kid who spent my summers playing war with the boys outside and jumping over fences to steal apricots from the neighbor's yard. I had no interest in wearing dresses, playing with dolls, or occupying my mind with silly dreams of a future princess-like wedding. My curiosity raged as I ran the muddy streets with my warrior friends all day. That is a little bit the beginning of the personal story told by a true wonderful, intelligent, and strong American woman. Natalia R. Nawaz, in her book she put together, it's pretty cool to become an author. It's pretty cool to be fresh in the United States of America as an immigrant and have that fire and that decision inside of you to say, I got to do this. This is big. I'm going to make something of myself. And more than just making something of herself, a wife, a mother of, I think, three children, and living a successful life here in, in the United States with plenty of struggles to come with it, including internal struggles of autoimmune disease. Uh, Natalia wrote the book, To Help and Serve Others, provided a major answer to something that that millions of people are dealing with in so many different ways, so many different types of autoimmune disease has provided, has taken her time, organized this book, The Nova Regimen, to help everybody, to provide a service in the community here, in this country, in the world. You can get this book anywhere. It's available on Amazon. I'll have it a link. For it in the comments, it says it's a guide to losing fat and building muscle with autoimmune disease. And it's much, it's much more than that. It's very profound to, to think about the human behavior, natural human behavior is really basically all of us tend to not do anything new with our lives until we are in a state of desperation, until there is life at risk all our property at risk, whatever it is, then we get up and move. So the funny thing about life is that sometimes major challenges are very scary, difficult to deal with, but often the silver lining behind those is that it kicks us into gear to do something. So it's not very desirable to get a huge challenge in life something very difficult, something hard to do with, something that's painful. It's difficult, but it's also a blessing for those who are intelligent and learn, get on a path of personal development. The earlier you realize it, the better. When some adversity comes along, that's an opportunity to grow. And it might be a gift. It's hard to think about, especially the worst, maybe something, some event could happen. I understand that. It would be very difficult to even consider. But it takes an intelligent mind to say, this could be a gift. I'm going to focus on this challenge that's obviously right here in front of me and make the best of it and see what it is. I'm going to see about what this is, how to handle it. And... Natalia with the book and the Nova Regimen. That's her Instagram handle, by the way. I'll link that again. I'll link that as well in the comments. Is the main focus of this book is not just for women. It's not just for people with autoimmune disease. Although there's 
there's what there's millions of people out there that are dealing with it different kinds of it chronic pain inflammation um, this is a lesson in taking the challenge in front of you and not suffering because of it but thriving because of it so hard challenges come along instead of going into self-destruction mode self-pity which all may be so justified but taking that and saying okay I have this challenge where do I look for answers Where do I look for answers? Who has been through this? Who decided that they're going to come out the other side stronger now that they've had this challenge? No, you don't want inflammation. You don't want chronic pain. But being able to, to have gratitude for that and say, oh, because of this and because I, I looked for answers, and now we have, we have people, we have leaders who took the time for other people to put her answers and her experience together in life and education to provide answers here in a short book. This is a lifetime of struggle. This is a lifetime of trial and error. Um, uncertainty. Uncertainty that others can take and shorten the learning curve and and figure out the answers right here in a small book. And to keep it to open again and again to learn more about nutrition, workouts. If you don't know anything about any of it, I like this book so much because you can find all the answers needed. The foundation of knowledge behind fitness and health is right here. It's fully understood by Natalia in the Nova Regimen. I think it's great to see because in my experience, it just it takes you know so many years of just yourself looking around, um, one being inside and outside of the gym, going through thousands and thousands and thousands of reps, figuring out what works, trying this from this magazine, trying this from you know now we have the internet. Eventually, if you stick to it, you gain this pure foundation of knowledge in such a way that you can help others. Men do it and women do it. It's great to see this a strong woman take charge in doing this and actually write a book about it. Write and publish a book. It's incredible. I, I've got several book ideas of my own, including fitness and health. And so I admire that, that she's put together a book. And... It's more than opening up and, and looking at step-by-step -step guides to what to do because that those practical steps are in here. But you open up the book and start to see behind her own personal life, her own personal struggles, especially by chapter 2 that, we, that I just started off reading in the beginning a little bit there. It's telling her story, which is incredible. It's incredibly powerful. I think that's something that's that's needed. That's a big basis behind my channel and what I try to help others with. I, I realize the power of instead of telling people to do stuff, I got to just share what I know from what I've done. And that's the most uh, unique thing that we have is our own experience. Nobody can ever take that away from us, our own stories, our own experience. Say, I did this. This is how it worked for me. And so that's why I find this book, again, uh, very powerful. Um, and as far as, you know, talking about early on in childhood, how amazing is that and important is that to have parents and her mother in particular that read books to her? What did that create? It created a successful um, adult who can take care of herself, take care of a husband and take care of a family, children. Write a book. And as well as many other experiences it talks about that, that she's been through here. And I relate to a lot of it, um, you know, starting off in, in late teens, early 20s, maybe trying something new, trying something new, being kind of good at everything you try, but never really finishing. You know, life's just kind of 
pushing you this way and pushing you this way and you're kind of going with the flow uh, and I'll start this and I'll, I'll move over here. Well, good part about that is that you gain a lot of experience in, in different things. You, you're able to relate to people in a lot of different ways by trying stuff. But then eventually in life, some things come along. Um, real big ones are having a serious relationship or getting married. And bigger than that is having bringing lives into this world and having kids that'll push you to, to decide that okay this is this is nothing that I can play around with anymore this is something I'm committed to and focused on uh, she exemplifies that and but then coming across realizing that she's dealing with autoimmune disease is dealing with constant chronic pain a lot of things that come with it and then all the answers that seem seem to be the answers out there weren't working. They're not working. They're really, a lot of the stuff out there is not really even there to help. So taking the time to put real information in a book is why I value books so much. Just by doing some Google searches sometimes or messing around asking other people questions who, aren't, who haven't taken the time to educate themselves it can be very misleading, dangerous, and damaging in life. And... Um, so that's why I collect a lot of books here because there's a lot of important truth in many of them. Uh, and this is this is one of them for sure right here. What does she say it in her own words here in the preface, I think? In the preface here, it says, I live in constant, relentless, chronic pain. Why would I want to lift heavy weights? Huge for this book. Huge for so many people out there. If you think you're dealing with something or you know you're dealing with something and you agree with that, why would I want to lift? It's going to hurt. She explains her journey here with that. She went through trial and error with that. And then um, beyond what I'll get into as far as like she, the practical nutrition and practical workout plans are in here and according to um, gauging how your body is feeling that day because some lifting is sometimes important. But then sometimes too much heavy lifting and going crazy can be too much. So you, you still get the courage to do some work depending on how your body's feeling. But then overall, what a lot of people will not ever get the benefit of because they've never been challenged enough in life. So that's where the silver lining comes in with this challenge of autoimmune disease is, oh wow, now I see the benefit of eating healthy. It's so um, underestimated. The benefit of exercising, just engaging the muscles. It doesn't have to be crazy psychopathic bodybuilding. There's a lot of us like that, you know, but it, engaging the muscle, exercising. And then the, the benefits beyond overcoming autoimmune symptoms is the physical results that come with it. Hey, your body gets shaped better. Wow, hey, huge bonus. That's not the main thing about it it's about feeling better enjoying your day better being able to focus on everything around you when you're the better you feel the better you can focus the better you can give yourself and your time to your family um so a lot of people don't have the blessing of a struggle it kind of sounds weird but um that's a, that's one of the most profound parts of this book is the leadership in and explaining that this struggle may be actually be your greatest gift. So try it out. Um, and it's more than, this book is more than those with autoimmune disease. It was a great, um, it was very, it's, it was very refreshing for me to read a book like this. Again, I've, I've read a lot of material or textbooks on personal training, um, exercise, strength training, strength and conditioning, nutrition. And it's, it's nice to see um, continuous publications by real people that have taken what I started off talking about here is taking that foundation in through a lot of trial and error, through a lot of reading, taking the time to figure it out. Once you figure the basics out, then you can get very innovative and as creative as you want with it. But staying along the principles, the basics. And um, Natalia has got, has clearly got a complete understanding of that. She's as good as any coach you will ever find. Um, 
when learning how to eat, learning how to lift weights. And it's, it's beyond just basic uh, muscle, muscle targeting and exercising. Um, I really appreciate Natalia's knowledge in this book because she, she goes a step further and actually appreciates she doesn't starve herself and do a little bit of cardio. She knows the value for men and especially women, the value in lifting weights and strength training. She likes bodybuilding. And it's it's not so much um, exactly the giant, you know, geared out stage bodybuilding. It's just, a you know, as much as a lot of us even, even you know, appreciate some of those sports is bodybuilding in the sense of the term that you're building your body you're building yourself up majorly important and so i will always lean towards and recommend and, and tell you my view that the highest value i find in those that um that have this bit have this real foundation of understanding in fitness health and strength are those men and women who know that lifting weights is important and that eating often is important. It's not about not eating. It's actually got to eat a little bit more often, eat healthier foods. And so this book is for men and women. Um, it was great that I read it. I'm really, I'm really happy that I picked it up, that I bought it and read it. Um, I'm honored to, um, be, you know, a part of an Instagram community with, um, with Natalia. So don't forget, I'm going to link her website, book link, um, and social media in the comments. And if you're facing autoimmune disease, especially you, try this book. It's going to be very hard for you to find a lot of good answers out there. Um, and you know all the disclaimers that come with this book right here in the front make sure you read all that stuff so you're not coming in with the wrong expectations because it really comes down to you and the work on yourself and your own individual um, circumstances but I, I truly see that the best answers that we could possibly get are they're all right here in this book um, nothing is extremely complex. It just took an intelligent person, which you can see from early on in life, she went through some, some very good benefits of um, having her mother read to her, having her mother read it, and some really good classic history to her. Got her thinking about right where, right where it said, like, what are we? How did, how did we get here? Why are we here? To ask those questions leads to the personal confidence and intelligence early on for someone to figure out something that's very important like this in life. I think all of us should have a really good handle on it. And unfortunately, there's just, there's, you know, so few. But hey, the good part there is that there's leadership and the answers have been given. The time's been taken, the work, the work, the blood, sweat, and tears has been put out there to offer help. Um, so those are benefits of not growing up in just the copy-paste program that most of the world, especially the United States, wants us all to just fall into, be a consumer. And it, somewhere in her book here, I was saying that, you know, her friends, when they found out she was going to go to the United States, they said, oh, you're going to get fat there, you know, because, I mean, it's really just so fat and comfortable in the United States. And so she came here, faced a lot of challenges, overcame everything. And now has provided her life and experience, education, and heart as an example. So, and then there's pictures of a lot of workouts in here. When you see women put in importance into lifting weights and strength training, pay attention to those ones. When you see women telling you that you need to eat more and you need to eat strong and healthy, pay attention to those ones. Um, the book, so the book is packed with these, with the workouts. She even, she took pictures of food in here. And then here is, it's a, it's a great big section of the book here. Flexibility focused program. Okay. So then you have all of your workouts, um, rest day one, day two, day three reps, sets all set up here 
practical right there for you. If that's what you need, if you need a workout program, it's right here in a book. I mean, a lot of us offer these for several hundred dollars a month. Um, and that comes with its own benefits of having something that's directly interactive with you and a coach, a coach like Natalia. Um, but then at least even taking the basic intelligence and, and purchasing a book like this and having so much of it right here, open access for you. If you have the power and the willpower and the mind power to pick up a book and read it, it's right here. I went and looked through these I and mean, these are, these are very serious, um, simple, but these are the real ones. These are the real exercises. You got to have the courage to go ahead and try it. Um, Even pictures of food here, especially some uh, different kinds of cooking that that Natalia knows. Um, but then just basic, hey, there's a lot of protein, carbohydrates, fats in here. That's it. Get the good stuff. Listen to people who have lived it and tried it. Watch out for all the online mess of information that's out there. So it's a very cool book. It's very unique. Um, Make sure I cover everything before I finish this up. Um, and the Nova Regimen, after we learn a little bit more about her in the first couple of chapters or an introduction into the importance of getting past autoimmune disease, building relationships with you as a reader, you know, showing that she, she's been through it, she still goes through it, knows how it is, and has found these answers. As the Nova Regimen is built on four main pillars. She's got an acronym TNARS, T-N-A-R-S, stands for Training, Nutrition, Recovery, and Supplementation. Simple, right there for you. Um, and she's, she's got a list right here on the next page of some of the most debilitating autoimmune diseases. Training in the Tears goes over method, volume, and intensity. Progressive overload, time under tension, duration, frequency, variety, cardiovascular activity, mind muscle connection, form, active deload, hydration, training strategies and tips. This covers everything. This book literally covers everything. Um, Every, I mean, in my, my experience, you know, going through either a school that takes a couple of years to, to learn about nutrition, exercise, getting certified, or, or some that take four to six months, even all of that information and in books much larger than this is all right here. This is well put together. This is a sign of a leader who can make things into simple form and provide it for you. And if you, if you already know a lot of what you're, um, what you're doing, Pick this book up and read it as far as a, a, an incredible refresher and seeing it through the eyes of someone else's life experience. Um, it's been very helpful. It reminded me of a lot of things that I kind of just simply brushed over and forgot about over time. And this, this is all extremely important. Plus, the beginning of the book I like here, too, is one of those books you can just open up and, um, and find um, little positive quotes. You know, that you can hold on to for the day that mean a lot. No amount of external pressure or influence can gear change. It would change our lives, which we so desperately want, yet so deeply fear. Sometimes we fear change. I mean, she really touches on a lot of these basic core human emotions and behaviors. And right here in chapter, chapter one, it's called The Dreadful Word. She's got a little picture meme on the front. It says, who wants to change? Everybody raises their hand. Who wants to change? Nobody. Nobody raises their hand. People are a little bit upset about that. Uh, well, I have individual choices I got to make and responsibility. I mean, that's just the basic human behavior. It says, we would much rather do what is comfortable and familiar to us, even if it is toxic and painful, than go into the unknown and try something new. So this is a brilliant, valuable mind here that's taken the time to share her knowledge with us in this book. And um, I'm going to be looking back to it 
from time to time after finishing it to to be able to just pull up some of these topics recovery nutrition and supplementation and use to my own benefit it's really just improved me overall as another coach myself to have read this book we always need continuing education and so I don't think there's any better place to look than right here uh, and add this book to your fitness library and a uh, little bit of an autobiography as far as putting those two things together really helps soak in the information and helps connect your heart to hers as far as another human being and realizing how important all this is. This isn't just a step one, eat this, do this. This is, hey, this is like, this is my life really wrecked in a lot of different places physically. I'm even questionable as to whether or not she's going to make it. I found literally uh, self-healing abilities through her decision to step into the unknown, try something new, and make it work. So I appreciate Natalia. Um, let's read a little bit of the back of, the, of her book here before I close this out. Imagine taking control of your autoimmune disease while getting in the best shape of your life. If you are plagued by systemic inflammation or chronic pain and looking for a game changer, this is it. The Nova Regimen is a tiered guide in minimizing inflammation, repairing metabolic damage, and overcoming chronic illnesses and managing autoimmune diseases. With the use of the program's four pillars, nutrition, training, recovery, and supplementation, anyone, sick or not, can lose fat, build lean muscle, repair metabolism and insulin sensitivity, minimize and eliminate autoimmune disease flares, improve function, strength and energy, boost cardiovascular health, manage anxiety and depression. The regimen includes 12 training programs built in a tiered fashion, complete anti-inflammatory diet plans, recovery protocols, macronutrient breakdowns, recipes, and more. This program is suitable for anyone from the elderly and autoimmunity fighters with functional impairments to strength and hypertrophy athletes. A young mother develops five chronic conditions and a mental illness. With a large tumor in her hip and four autoimmune diseases, she makes a momentous shift and changes her paradigm. She then writes the Nova Regimen, a profoundly beneficial approach to systemic inflammation, chronic illness, and obesity. And that is by Benjamin Lopez the universe, from the University of Mexico. An incredible story. Thank you, Natalia. And uh, like I said, follow along with her Instagram. Buy the book. Buy the book. Then take a look at her website and then go follow her on Instagram and you know see what she's doing on a day-to-day -day basis and, and all the updates that she's got going on there. And some really incredible interviews coming out lately. Um, that is the Nova Regimen. Thank you, Coach.